Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. Okay, so we're obviously... We've got we've received our first main quest here in Tears of the Kingdom. It's to find Zelda. <clears throat> uh, which is which is nice because that, that gives me hope that um the whole game is not gonna be surrounding the idea of like, oh, we have to find and save Zelda again. I want new. I don't want just because okay, so I've heard mixed reviews about Tears of the Kingdom up until this point. Um some people saying it is an absolute uh, masterpiece, a game of the war, a uh, game, game of the, game of the war, what? Game of the year award recipient <clears throat> right away, like at launch, perfect, right? Others have been trolling it and saying it's just a Breath of the Wild DLC. Now, I feel like 50 hours of additional gameplay, it's, it's hard to consider that uh, DLC in any capacity. And as long as we're up here, in this totally different world, I don't see it as DLC. I love that dragon still. Oh my god. I just want to get over. Oh my god, it's got like six legs? Maybe more? I thought it only had four legs. Somehow six legs is more impressive. Anyway. Hello, you seem to be new here. Be wary of soldier constructs as you travel this way. Soldier constructs? Soldier co constructs? Soldier constructs uh, are those of us given strict orders to protect this land. The Zonai who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. <laughs> they will consider you a trespasser too. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. It is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Swinger, swinging haphazardly will not yield results. You may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please do not actually attack. I must protect myself. Okay. Yeah, I pick things up and put them down. <laughs> Your behavior is a threat. Sorry. <laughs> I think we're jumping again. But how do we jump up? I legitimately did not think that. Oh, what is that? Froggy? I legitimately, for a second there, did not think there was water here. And I thought I was just going to splat on the ground. Ow. Didn't teach me how to dodge yet, though. Throw weapon. Okay, cool. Um. Is it the same as... Yeah, okay, so X... Same as Breath of the Wild, I believe. Okay. Just assuming I'm going through the mist here. So this app absolutely functions. Like, oh, they got the... Okay, well, can we talk about how... Where's the dope picture of me? 
and my, uh, you know, my Captain Morgan stance, huh? All right, so yeah, we're just moving forward. As you say, this like, this happens to function exactly like. Uh, I just want to eat something here. Exactly like the Sheikah slate did. The Pura pad. <laughs> it's very original. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Long stick. For poking. For poking and jabbing. Stabbing and thrusting. Okay. Let's proceed. Am I still go is that where she is? I think that's oops. I think that's where she is, right? So what's the best plan? This way? This way, maybe. Or this way, which doesn't seem to be a plan at all. Let's find out, shall we? Who are you, sir? Are you an angry boy? No, you are a steward boy. Toasty Sky Shroom, new. Ooh. Ah, I roasted that, but it is yours if you want. Do you even eat? You roast them? Oh, I had not noticed before that you were unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my tasks uh, is to explain anything that visitors might require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall that your question was about roasting food. I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to use this fire to roast them. Okay. So do I just... Do I, should I just drop them here? Or... Did that work? Are they roasting? <laughs> they didn't roast. How close to the fire do I need to... Ah, now they're roasting. I know, I wanted to pick them up before they burnt. Oh, they don't burnt. They don't, they don't burnt. <laughs> they probably burnt. I mean, they probably burn, but... <laughs> One of them looks like they just lit on fire. I wonder if you can... I'm sure you can, like, burn... Burn things, right? I'm gonna try it once. What is this? This is a branch. Okay, let me... Let me try to burn something real quick. <laughs> okay. Lights on fire. Turns into a toasty sky shroom. Lights on fire again. Turns into nothing. Alright, so you just gotta make sure it doesn't... I mean, you could pick it up while it's on fire. For the record. But, like, once it's on fire the second time, and it'll be fine. You just gotta make sure it doesn't full on, like... You know... You just gotta make sure it doesn't full on poof, disintegrate. <laughs> Why is this one. This is so close to the fire! Can I push it? Oh my god. Oh, 
Okay. That's enough toasting, I think. I feel as though this might be a bad idea. Like something's gonna get me. But I also haven't seen any enemies outside of like the uh, the soldier constructs. I don't know what that little maneuver was. Uh, so I feel relatively safe here in comparison to down in Hyrule where I'm, you know, constantly being assaulted by everything that moves. Get wrecked, son! Ooh, I got an actual sword now? Is that what that is? Can I not pick it up? Oh yeah, here we go. A rusty broadsword. Wow, that's so... Wait, did it not let me pick it up? Okay, so now I have a... Oh, I can't carry any more melee weapons. No worries. I will drop... A couple things. I guess I can bro drop all my tree branches now. I think I'm past that point where that's the best weapon I can acquire. <laughs> okay. Let's examine this and see if I can get inside. <laughs> Out of curiosity though, why did it- oh, I can't get inside. Out of curiosity, though, why did it save, um, why did the mysterious voice... Only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to start... Oh, so it is another one where we don't see Zelda again until the end of the game. <laughs> that arm originally belonged to me. I am Raru. Raru. Source of the right arm. Fortunately, I no longer have a physical form. <laughs> In any case, that arm should allow you to open his door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? <laughs> this does feel very much yes, like, um... Sure this does feel very much like Breath of the Wild now that it's playing out, though. Not just, like, as a sequel, but as, like, a... We're doing the exact same things. Like, level one, in order to move on... Locate all of the shrines and visit them all. The closed door. Main quest. Okay. So there's a shrine up there. There's a shrine over there. Oh, but it said on this island, so is this like... On this floating island, or... Today I learned that I don't have my uh, parachute from Breath of the Wild. Or my glider. <laughs> Would have been nice knowledge to have. Just scavenge real quick. Pick up anything that I can find. Oh, he's an archer. Okay. So now I've got a bow. I've got a bow for my arrows. <laughs> Am I going the right way? Huh, lol, no. 
So I'm sure this is going to be something I can build or reconstruct eventually. What was that? Oh, he's down there. All right, we're going right back into another battle. What was that? Is he also an archer? Yes, seemingly. Oh, no, he just wings mud at you. Oh, crap. At least they're easy peasy to beat up. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I was mentioning earlier, though. Um, the lily pads. Uh, there's the dragon again. Oh my god. I can't tell which one, which side is the head and which side. No, that's definitely the head on the right-hand side there. So I can't tell which side's the head and which side's the butt. Ooh, what is that? I'll take rush rooms. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> take those rush rooms as well. Um. But yeah, no, I'm I'm happy I'm getting to re kind of relearn the combat system. Because I'm at the same skill level as I was in Breath of the Wild. Which was not very much. Not very much skill at all. <laughs> so now I'm kind of getting to relearn the uh, the combat system. Without having to be facing off with the game's toughest enemies like I was at the end of Breath of the Wild there. Anything around here? Okay, so how do these shrines work? I guess we'll find out, right? Okay. Ah, we just walk right on into these rocks. Okay. <laughs> just teleport through the rock. It's like a TARDIS. It's a little bit bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Oh, it's just a gateway. Okay. The rock is a gateway. It's it's not all contained inside the rock. What's up, Raru? So you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. Now then, extend your hand. You mean this dead thing? Sheikah Slate Authenticated. <laughs> Rune Distilled. Ultra Hand. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't Ultra Hand... That's a thing in Nintendo history, right? Yeah, it was called, like, Grill Off. Grill Off with Ultra Hand. It was a Nintendo Wii game. And it was some stupid thing. It was like a it was like a cooking mama type of deal. I've been talking about cooking mama a lot lately. I th I feel like I gotta play cooking mama here on the channel at some point. But it was like a it was like an accordion thing. And when you squeezed the Wii remote and the nunchuck together, it extended out. Right. So you were like extending out. Three D. You should wear this with three D glasses. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it would like extend out. And you would grab things, and then you'd pull them back, and I forget the actual gameplay, but that was like the gameplay mechanic of it. And it was called Grill Off with Ultra Hand, and I think I still have it on my Nintendo Wii. I'll have to check if I can reinstall it, but yeah, I think that's a thing. Look that up. <laughs> anyway, not in this game. This is the Ultra Hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. <laughs> With it, you'll be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Mm. I know, I know. I Like I've said before, I've, I've seen Video Game Donkey's video on Tears of the Kingdom. I know what I'm in for. Uh, use Ultra Hand and receive the blessing from this shrine. 
Okay. Use ability. Okay, so this shrine is going to be learning how to use Ultra Hand. The ability to create the Yuko Shrine. Okay. First of all, nothing behind me, right? Other than the exit. Okay. <laughs> then let's proceed forward if there's nothing behind me. Okay. Bridge, question mark? Do 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 do! Let's do it again! Uh oh, this one is longer. Okay. Oh, you know what? Oh. Oh. Well, that wasn't exactly what I planned on, but. Can I climb this? No. But. Oh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Let me just. I don't think that thing can fall over, which means we're we're gonna try to make like a T shape out of it. No, that's stupid. That would be stupid of me. We're just gonna rotate it. Like a smart person would. Okay. Okay. So that's gonna go right there. And then we're gonna grab this thing. And we're going to lift this up here. And then we're just going to connect it again. Like a smart person would. And then, once it's kind of like, you know, attached here. That is not what I did. That is not my handiwork. Do that again, right now. Okay. Good enough. That's what I say. Good enough. Just connects it with, glues it together with a little bit of flubber in between. <laughs> Any of, uh, anybody familiar with flubber? Robin Williams, the film. Great movie. Highly recommend. That appears to be the ending, but I want, I want more. <laughs> no, there is more. Ha ha. Ooh, what are all these parts? I wonder. So this seems. I was gonna say seems. That is just, just not good. That is not good craftsmanship. Okay. So I'm assuming that I'm <laughs> Oh wait, you know what? Okay, what if I Unstick those, right? Ah, okay. We're building a monorail here. Right? Presumably. This is about to get wild. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is about to get wild, broski. 
Okay. Okay. Boom. Wait, wait, wait. Chill. Chill. Where are you going? Okay, that is going to work, though. Let's drop that there. And then we're going to take this thing. This is what we got to do. This is what we got to do. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. I just, just want to go on record and say that. Okay. Plot that there. And then we're going to glue this on here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. But we're going to rotate it. Rotato. Boom. And we're going to hot glue that bad boy on that. And then we're going to run over here and we're going to grab this bad boy over here. Over her. And we're going to do some little rotatey magic here. And we're going to... Hook that bad boy on there as well. And attach. And now... We're gonna hope this hot glue, this hot flubber glue is good enough to hold together here. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, I'm a genius! I'm just a straight up Da Vinci up in this piece. Heck yeah, brother! Is there anything... Anything I can collect here? Anything... Any rewards for that ingenious... Uh... Maneuvering there? I guess not. But... Okay, so there's... There's our first shrine. Our first shrine conquered here in Tears of the Kingdom. Which is exciting. You have done well to reach this place. <laughs> and we offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Is this going to bring my arm back to life? Because I'm hoping it doesn't. I kind of think it's a cool character arc if Link just has a dead corpse arm for the rest of his existence now. I'm sure it's going to slowly bring his arm back to life, but... I guess I'd just prefer if it didn't. It can be less evil and still dead dead corpse arm, right? I feel like it, it should it should remain dead corpse arm in my mind. Cause I think that's just, I think that's a character I think that's a characteristic of, of Link now. Uh that I can really get behind. I think it's kind of cool. Um It's like this noble high Hylian soldier with dead corpse arm. <laughs> light of blessing. A crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. Okay, so I'm back to full health. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so safe skydiving. We need to dive from the sky to the surface. Uh, landing in deep water will prevent... What's up, Raru? You did very well getting through that shrine, and you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. <clears throat> if you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door of the Temple of Time. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins, then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Puripad... <clears throat> I'm going to call it a Puripad, but I think it's a per... I'm going to call it a Puripad, I don't know. Until proven otherwise, it's a Puripad. The Puripad offers you a very useful scope. It's quite handy. <laughs> Thanks, Raru. What's his name? Raru? The scope and pins. View distant things and mark them with pins. Press right stick. A to plus... To, yeah. Press A to place pin. Great Sky Island. Alright. So let's see if we can... Oh, there's one over there, right? <laughs> 
presumably. And then where's the other one that I'm looking for? Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Oh, so now I can build that monorail, though. And that'll take me over yonder. Is there another one that I'm, like, close by that I'm missing, or... Am I stupid? Oh, there's that one up there. Is that... Is that the one? I don't know. I guess that's the one, right? Okay, we did the thing. Now, uh, let's get there. I guess we're gonna go to that one first, right? 